next subject I'm going to talk about is client management. I'm sure we've all had problems with that. Um, there is no special trick to client management. I think it's find your own thing. You know, clients come in all different shapes, sizes, and uh, how you deal with them is entirely up to yourself. How you um, manage them and everything else is really going to differ from person to person. Um, but some of the things that i done was allowed clients just to sign up and leave as and when they wanted. I didn't want to scare them into signing up to a contract um, purely because I don't think it's the right thing to do is tie clients into contracts, or I didn't think it was the right thing to do at the time was signing clients up into contracts. Um, but what you get then is clients just dropping out willy-nilly as and when they want. There was no minimum term. We didn't know whether we were getting paid next month for anything. We couldn't work ahead of ourselves. Um, there just was nothing. There was no real structure there. And I think then when you're trying to manage a client and there's no real rules or regulation, then you're setting yourself up for failure. Now, I wouldn't sit there and say still try and tie clients up into one-year contracts or whatever. Um, certainly not, but there has to be some terms and conditions and understanding of how digital services work. For example, I've had so many clients come in and their website's been riddled with all sorts of technical problems. Landing pages are garbage, uh, keyword research garbage, no on page, no nothing, just a big bag of dirt. And the client will come in and say, oh, I've got a thousand pound a month to do this. Now, month one in my head, it would be fix all the technical stuff, just do an audit, get all the stuff done. Um, make sure that the website's technically sound um, and stuff like that. Try and get as much of that, <coughs> much of that side things uh, side of things done as I could for that budget. And then maybe month two, I would look at on page and maybe tweaking the landing pages and making sure they were okay um, before I actually get down to doing any real link building or content creation or anything like that. And in the meantime, someone else has also got to be doing the keyword research and implement the on page. Now, that's three months of work gone before we even start doing any real SEO. And what you do is you get clients after month one, month two saying, well, what's happening? I don't see any results. Um, so you have to educate the clients that if you inherit a big dirty mess and it needs to be fixed, then give them an upfront fee. Just say it's going to cost four grand to get your website in shape before we can even start doing any work. You know, your landing pages are not going to convert well, this, that. The next thing's not going to work. You don't have pages targeting the right keywords. You don't have anything to work with. Um, so you have to make sure that the clients understand what the hell they're getting themselves into because they're obviously paying you money and don't want this whole wishy-washy results will come in six to nine months or whatever comes out there. They have to understand the process that's going on behind the scenes. Um, but whilst you're doing that, you can't have a client and you are maybe preempting. you know, you've done month one, month one's worth of work and maybe you've still got another week left of month one and you go, do you know what, I'm going to do a bit of month twos just to get on the front foot with the client. Um, you may schedule the work in, you may do early, whatever, and uh, then the client phones up after month one and said, I've not had enough progress, where's, where's my report, don't see any keywords moving, you're fired. So you can't do that unless a client understands what they're entering into um, and you need a minimum term. You need to say to someone, listen, it's going to be three months before we even come close to moving you on. So I think you have to look at the um, signing clients up for a minimum term as such uh, and make sure that they do give you some form of notice period, whether that's 30 days, 60 days, entirely up to yourself. Now I've had people say, you're crazy not signing people up in clients and it is uh, on contracts. It's absolutely absurd to build a business and try and scale a business when you don't know where your next payments are coming from or the client's crazy expectation uh, level or lack of knowledge is going to impact the way you work. So make sure that you have that kind of stuff sorted off from the get-go. Never let a client tell you how you're going to work. The client does not dictate how SEO works. Um, you don't dictate how SEO works. We've all, we're all in the same boat. So a client can't dictate how it works and all that kind of stuff as well. You have to be firm with clients. And very often you may be scared and you may need that client to pay the bills. But if you are firm, transparent, open and honest 
what you'll find is the client will back down and allow you to crack on with your job. That's what they want. They just want someone they can trust to crack on and do the stuff. So make sure that you do have not a contract, but some form of terms and conditions, 30 day notice period, 60 day notice period, and make sure that these clients understand what the hell they're getting into because you can't do uh, four months of work in month one because someone's a new client and hope that they might pay for the other three months. It's just not how life works. Uh, so I would always make sure that a client fully understands that or pays you an upfront development fee or whatever it might be.